Hey there guys and welcome to a tutorial on how to increase your FPS in GTA 5 on PC. Now, to start off with guys, you want to go to either of these websites depending on which uh, co company, I guess, company that your graphics card belongs to. So AMD cards go here, Nvidia cards go here. The two links will be in the description below. If you have an AMD card, you want to scroll down to here and you should see these four orange options. These for like Windows 7... 32 bit, sorry, Windows 7 64 bit, Windows 8.1 32 bit, and so on. So, anyway, if you have a NVIDIA card on the other hand, what you want to do is you just want to go to this website and you should you just press this download button, and there you have it. I don't really have a NVIDIA card, so I don't really know the full process of it, but I think that's just all you do for now. So, anyway, guys, let's quickly get into the actual core gameplay settings. Okay guys, now that we are within the game of GTA 5, let's go and take a look at the sort of settings that you might need to keep your FPS up there and high above 60 frames. Okay guys, so you want FXAA on because it doesn't really affect your performance that much. MSAA does affect your performance quite a lot I've found. If you do times 2 it doesn't really affect it too much, but if you go up higher, it will affect your performance. And as you can see up here, you do have a, have a bar that changes color depending on how much VRAM you're using. So I have two gigabytes of VRAM. Some people may have one gigabyte, some people have three, some people have even four. So depending on how much VRAM you have, that's how far you can go in FPS and quality wise. But anyway, I'm gonna keep that at times two for now, just to keep this in the green zone, as I recommend that you should keep it in the green zone as it will not drop below 30 at that okay so now we're on to v-sync turn that shit off i have no clue what v-sync does but just turn it off it literally oh 20 fps boost at least anyway population density keep that up keep all three of these up they don't really do much to your performance either these i would tone them down slightly if you're looking for more fps increases than quality increases so just tone them down a bit reflection quality doesn't really affect that too much you can just keep it high reflection msaa i just kept that off water quality i kept that on high uh particles quality i kept that on high too grass quality very high because that doesn't that literally does nothing to your as you can see up here the bar just, just doesn't even change look like, it doesn't like no more megabytes are used to be ram if you change that up so post fx uh i kept on high just because they're nice i guess Soft shadows, keep them soft guys, they don't really affect your performance either, as you can see. Motion blur strength, keep motion blur, I fucking hate it. Anisotropic filtering, anistro I can never pronounce this right, anisotropic filtering, ah, there we are. Times 16, because that doesn't even affect your performance either that much, like nothing at all. Keep that on because it smooths out the edges of the buildings and all that sort of stuff. Ambient occlusion, I kept on high because that doesn't really, I don't think that does much. Nope, doesn't really do anything either. Tessellation, I have no clue what tessellation is, but I have a feeling it's something to do with like the smoothness of objects, like the roundedness of them. So just keep that on normal for now. And so guys, that is it for the graphics settings in the game of GTA 5. Now, I'm going to quickly have a look at these advanced graphics, see what I put for them. Long shadows, I don't think I messed around with this actually. Just keep everything off here guys, you don't really need it to be honest. It's just the advanced graphics section, nothing really important goes on during the game. And so guys, with all these settings, if you have a good graphics card, you should get a good 60 frames plus during your gameplay, I guess. But anyway, th thank you so much guys for watching this video on how to increase your FPS in GTA 5. Remember to leave a like and even subscribe for more content, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.